Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see, um, and I do truly apologize for that. I know I said in my first couple videos that I was planning on doing many things, and then uh, clearly I did nothing. And uh, that is on me. Um, work got really busy, and then time blindness happened, and all of a sudden here it is in May, and I realize I haven't done any videos. Um, so I have opened a couple of my figures. Um, before that I had mentioned. So I'm hoping to kind of show them to you um, throughout these other videos. Um, I'm going to try to be a little bit better. Um, not going to guarantee a whole bunch, maybe just one a month or something um, so that I'm not overloading myself. Um, if I get more out, that'll be great. But uh, I don't want to promise you something that I'm not going to be able to do. I only have one figure here. I got it at the end of last month. I think this one was supposed to come out in... If I'm not mistaken, I think maybe March. Um, and then they had a delay. And in doing so, I did pick up some other um, figures because they had a sale. I saw some on um, the pre-order, or excuse me, the, um, what do you call it? Pre-owned on Ami Ami. And um, I was just looking for some Spy Family things, um, just little ones. I got this while I was waiting on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this one, um, the box, but this is the Anya and your figure from Good Smile. Uh, it's a one seventh scale figure. Um, so this is the one we are going to open today. But before we do that, um, these, I just want to show you some of the ones that I did actually pick up, like I said, through the pre-owned and uh, they were having sales. So I think I got like one, two, three, four, five, six, I do have a seventh one over there that I'm going to have to go grab here in a second. But basically, um, I got seven figures for with shipping and everything came to like $100. Um, so I thought that was a great deal. And they're like I said, they're just little mini figures, but uh, they were super cute. And I just wanted some things of Spy Family. So um, with that being said, I'm going to go grab that. And then we'll come back and we'll kind of show you these seven. And then we'll get into the one that we're going to unbox today. All right. All right, so I kind of thought of this um, idea at the last minute. So I did not look up uh, the different things, like companies that these are from. I do remember most of them. There's just one that I do not remember. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab that one first. And uh, it is Anya with the little penguin. Um, it is like a little scene one. It's super cute. I like that one. Um, I am going to go ahead and post up some um, pictures or videos of these. If I'm able to, like, you can see this pretty well, though. So, um, I again, I may still put the that little video up for you. But we have that one. And then we have a couple from the, I want to say it was Luminesta? Luminesta, something like that. Um, I, is it from Sega? I'm really, I don't, I, again, I did, it is a Luminesta line, though. I'm fairly certain. I'm probably going to insert if I am incorrect. But this is the little Anya figure when she is learning to play tennis. But that one was super cute. I like it. Um, it's got a little texture to the actual base of it. Uh, you can kind of see it there. But yeah, very cute. Love her little expression of her little ponytail in the back. And then this one's going to be a little more difficult to show you, but, um, all right. But this is again, Anya with, uh, the penguin and it's, uh, when she's sleeping, but so cute. Her little feet. Look at that. It's so cute. All the detailing. I love the fact that, uh, you know, even when you get kind of, I guess, prize figures or whatever, these are considered. Um, just the detailing to the little tiniest details. Little feet. But, um, yeah, and they just kind of just sit right on here. There's like a little indent for her and then the penguin and then there's even like a little indent for her right here that she just kind of leans up against. So there's that. And then that was also part of the Luminesta, whatever it was, line. Um, where'd she go? And then these were actually super cheap. So how it started was I found this little Lloyd for, I think by the time you converted, um, 
for US dollars, he was going to be like $3. And I couldn't pass him up. So then I looked. They had the Yor, they had the Anya. Um, they did have a set of all four of them, including Bond, but that one was sold out. So I was buying them individually, and um, Bond was still sold out. So I do not have him in the set, which kind of saddens me, because uh, now the you know I don't have the complete family. But um, this is from Fig Arts. But um, we have the little Yor here. Very cute. Now, each one of these figures did come with a separate set of, um, like, extra hands. <clears throat> There's that one. Then we have little Anya. All nice and cute. And last but not least, Mr. Lloyd himself. I thought that was very cute. Little boyish charm right there. When I was buying the Yor and Anya figure, after I bought that, I was looking for a Lloyd figure that would go with them, and I have yet to find one that makes me happy. Either I liked the pose, but the face was completely wrong, or the face was great, but the pose and his outfit just did not go with how the, like, the, um, I guess, aesthetic to um, Yor and Anya. I just... They didn't mesh. I didn't like it. So I do not have a larger Lloyd yet. Um, hopefully sometime down the line I will. Um, this last little piece before we get into the big guy is... Uh, oh man, I've already forgotten the name. I'm going to put it down here. Um, it was considered a last one. I kind of looked that up to figure out what that all meant. Um... But yeah, this one, I, I loved it just because it was Anya and Bond just chilling out, reading a little comic. They kind of, Again, they just sit right on there. So you can pose them however you want. I kind of liked it exactly like that, where she's kind of reading directly to him. But um, it's cute, the little crossing her legs at the back. Um, and then all the little books here. But yeah, I really enjoyed... I saw that one and I was like, I need that one. So um, I believe the only difference that I saw between, I guess, the last one um, and the regular ones are the regular ones. She is in her black dress and the tile on the flooring, I believe, is a different color. If I'm remembering correctly. Also, I also tried this kind of setup instead of how I had it before where... I'm a little more towards, you know, where you can see some of my figures. Um, I just wanted to do this really quick. And I was hoping maybe this would be a little bit better set up as far as being able to put things down and move around a little bit better. Um, again, I don't have a table yet to do these kind of things. Um, and right now my job <laughs> is literally giving me like 10, 11 hours a week. So um, right now... Buying a table is at the bottom of my to-do list. Um, move that over there. All right, so we are going to get into your and Anya 1-7 scale from Good Smile Company. Uh, I saw this one when I was looking up the, um, the spy family things. I was planning on getting one of your and one of Anya, like I said, and one of um, Lloyd. But then this one came across... And I just, it's very cute. And I like the fact that they're sitting down. So it's not another like standing figure. So it's just something different. Um, plus Yor and Anya are my favorite. So, so right now we got some instructions here. Um, I mean, hoping it's not going to be too terrible. <clears throat> Inside the box has just got this nice little thing. I mean, that's nice that they put it in there, even though it's all sealed up, so you can't see it inside. But move that off to the side. I do really like the aesthetic of the box as well. I like the coloring and stuff. Um, however trivial that is. Because I do tend to keep all of my boxes, even my prize figures, which I'm running into a problem with. And... Uh, 
I'll probably actually be selling some of my prize figures just because I do love them. And I, if I had a separate pay place for them, I would probably keep them. But I'm running out of room and having them next to my um, scale figures, it's just, I don't know, it, it bothers me. Um, they're great for the price. They really, truly are. Um, but, I mean, that's what I was buying when I first got into the... Sorry about that. That probably was really super loud. Um, you know what? I'm going to hold off talking until I get this open. All right, so they got little foam kind of in there, too. Helps protect them a little bit. And just some plastic. Bunch of plastic. There you go. I'm just going to remove some of that. And some of that. All right. So first up, since she's easy to pull out, we have Miss Yor herself. There's the back, the little bow right there. Ooh, that was sharp. What the heck was that? Oh, <laughs> So, uh, FYI, her little earrings um, are kind of sharp. Okay, anyways. Um, but yeah, it's got some, it's got some shading and different uh, colored red in there to kind of help show off the different, um, not, not a lot. At least I think that's, yeah. Um, I do like the way that it folds and everything. Um, there's like her hand up close if I can get it. And the texturing of her outfit, her boots. And like the other ones, I will do like an up close um, video of them so that you can see it a little bit better. But yeah, that's, there's your, all right. So we're just gonna set her on the edge of the table and hope for the best. So the next up, we're going to have Little Miss Anya. And while I'm getting this, um, I was able to see the movie. And uh, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I absolutely loved it. There was a couple moments I honestly thought, are they going to actually show? Um, oh my gosh, hold on a minute. <laughs> How does this come off? Wow. Okay. So <laughs> my bad. Um, I did not know that her head, I don't know why her head would detach, but um, yeah, Anya's head actually detaches. So I was trying to get the plastic off of it because um, it was all around her neck and I was trying to figure out what's happening. But um, yeah, anyways. So here's Anya. She's got some um, gradient in her hair. It's kind of light up here around her bang area. Um, and then a little bit in the back as well. Um, and then she's holding her little stuffed animal. But um, yeah, here's Anya. So does it can't, it's not really showing up on my, at least my camera here. I don't know. But um, here she is. A little close up. And her little shoes and her little socks. All right. Okay, she does not sit very well by herself. Um, I'm hoping. I don't know. I guess maybe on the picture she might. Maybe she's leaning. Anyways, I mean, I'm sitting her on my table and she must kind of lean back in the chair. So. All right. And here is the chair. Kind of a close up of that. Again, it, my, my lighting is kind of taken away. Um, it's a lot darker than what my phone is showing. Um, and there's actually a lot of shading and texture to, you can kind of see it a little better that way. But yeah, you see the indents of where you place the figures at. Uh, here's the bottom of it. The detailing on the little 
I mean, it's got really nice detailing. And again, um, I don't know if it's going to show up better when I'm editing, but the chair is a lot darker than what it's showing on my screen right now, me looking into my screen. Um, let me see if I can put them on and kind of... Ooh! All right, guys. I like this. So, um, they actually are magnetic. So, they are not going to fall off. That's beautiful. I mean, well, I guess, don't put, you know, let me get your just where she's supposed to be. Basically, when they're sitting, I'm going to kind of hold them because since they are heavy, I mean, you just, you know, it's not going to be like a, a Dairy Queen blizzard where you can flip it over and it's going to stay. They're going to fall off that way. But anyways, when I went to put your on, um, she kind of attached to the seat. So that's nice. But um, yeah, here's the little thing. I may have them wrong. I think she, Anya may be... Let's see. There. It's probably... Yeah. Again, I'm going to do a close-up um, in a different uh, thing, but they just kind of sit right on there. I think it's super cute. Like, I'm really happy with it. Um, I just got to figure out which way to actually position them. Um, but yeah, I, oh man, how much did I pay for them? I think I paid a hundred and something for them, um, which again, for two figures, basically I was happy with, um, cause I got both of them instead of the two figures that I was looking at. I think your herself was a hundred and something. And, um, and then I would have had to find some way of getting um, an Anya. This way I have both of them. So I'm super excited with it. Like I said, I'm going to show you some um, video, some pictures and whatnot of this figure once I get it set up properly. But um, I'm going to end it here. And my next videos, um, I actually wrote them down. And I set it up of how I'm going to... Um, do my hauls. So I am going to have a video of just Toru figures. I'm going to have a, another video of just Kana figures, both of those from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Um, and then I'm going to have, uh, I am going to have one of Marin Kitagawa from My Dress Up Darling. Um, I have about three or four. I think I have, I have three of Marin and then one of, um, I'm drawing a blank there too. The character that she's absolutely obsessed, um, obsessed about. I got the Nendoroid of that. So uh, we'll do a video of that. And then I just have some um, random ones that didn't really fit in anywhere else that I'm going to kind of incorporate. Um, and then maybe just one video kind of going over the different figures that, uh, that I can recall that I have opened. Or maybe just do um, a general kind of run through of my collection that um, isn't really including, you know, some of the ones that are still boxed, but just what's out there that maybe um, I never unboxed on the um, on a video, or ones that I uh, unboxed in between w when you last saw me, basically. So like my bunny figure of um, Chizuru from Rent a Girlfriend, I did go ahead and unbox her. I also unboxed uh, Yuna from Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs. Uh, that bunny figure, so I will show that. I did get a new curio um, and got that all set up in my room now, so I will have room to put things out and uh, get it a little more organized. Um, but with that being said, I do really appreciate you guys uh, sticking around this long if you are still here. <laughs> and um, if you like what you saw, please subscribe, um, like, comment, and um, I'm hoping, you know, I'll be more on the ball this year of uh, starting to get some videos out to you guys. I really appreciate it, and uh, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.